Now we have an inequality where the number on the other side of the rational is not zero anymore. And it makes it a little tougher to deal with, but we do, we do need to remember one basic thing. The thing you're definitely not allowed to do, I'm gonna keep mentioning this, is you cannot just multiply both sides by whatever that denominator is to try to clear the denominator. That's a trick that works fine when you're dealing with equalities, but this is an inequality. So that trick does not work. Okay, we can't do that thing right there that we're used to doing. Uh, we have to instead deal with this using a sign array. And if you just try to make a sign array now, it's not going to go so well because of that negative 8. I would like this to be 0. I really want a 0 on that side of the inequality so I can talk about a sign array in terms of positives and negatives. But it's not 0, so we're going to need to do a little bit of work up front. Okay, I'm going to add 8 to each side. That I can do just fine. So I get 0 is greater than... Can I change these to x's? Hope you don't mind. Makes it easier to talk about an x-intercept um, and a vertical asymptote if I'm actually using x's instead of psi or whatever this is. So uh, x minus 3 over x minus 6 plus 8. Well, we can do better than that. We can turn this into uh, 8 times x minus 6 over x minus 6. So I have common denominators. And now this is going to be 0 is greater than something over x minus 6, and that something is going to be x minus 3 plus 8x minus 48, okay, which we can simplify further to get to 0 is greater than 9x and minus 3 minus 48, that makes minus 51. 9x minus 51 over x minus 6. So now I'm ready for, to build a sign array, okay? I have, let's see, let's color code these things just to keep track. That right there is my vertical asymptote. And that's going to be x equals 6. So let's just find a point here. There's my 6. Okay. And over here, uh, we have an x-intercept. And that is going to be at, well, it looks like 51 over 9, comma, 0. So 51 over 9 um, is less than 6. Okay, it's five point something. Not exactly sure about that, but it doesn't matter. We just put it here like this, 51 over 9. And now I can build the sign array using these factors. Okay, so 9x minus 51 goes up there. And down here we have x minus 6. And that's going to be positive, And then it turns negative. And the other one, 9x minus 51, is going to be positive positive, and then negative, like this. So we add up our multiplication signs, or really I should say we multiply them. We get a positive, a negative, and a positive, and now it's time to consider what we actually want from this sign array. I want numbers that are less than zero. See this inequality right here? That's a less than zero. So really I'm talking about this short interval right here, between 51 over 9 and 6. And because it's less than zero, I have to use curvy parentheses because zero itself is not allowed.